What's up, my LS crazed amigos? Your boy Terry, speaking from the garage shop once again. It offers a more big bang for the buck product and info. Yeah, what's up, everyone? Ah, a few videos back, I mentioned I was going to do a relay video. Now, I briefly mentioned relays when I was installing the Aeromotive harness, but today is going to be the day to address all those questions because right now I'm in a situation where I got to set up a relay for my pump on my supercharger. So I felt it was perfect time to do a relay video. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to where I keep my stuff. Yeah, it's got, look, a relay. I'm gonna talk about relays, we're gonna explain it, and we're actually gonna hook one up and we're gonna test it out and make sure it works. So let's go on over there and we're gonna break it down, Relay 101. Come on, let's do it. Now from the emails and comments I've been getting, I understand that the relays may be a little scary. Some people may be a little nervous when it comes to relays. What I'm gonna to try to do is make it really clear so you don't have to be nervous, you don't have to pay someone to come over, hook your relays up, because you got this. So this is your typical Bosch style relay. And this thing is cool. It allows small current to be activated by a larger current. If you were to open this thing up, you have four major parts in this. You have your electromagnet, you have a spring, you have a switch point of contact, and you have a movable armature. Think of this as your light switch. You flip the switch up, you flip the switch down, light comes on, light turns off. Basically, what this allows you to do is electrically, you're able to use the switch. So, right now I'm getting ready to hook up my, my pump for my supercharger. Now, I want that supercharger pump to come in all the time whenever I, whenever I have the key on, I want it to kick on. What this will allow me to do is, the car is off. Now, let's say this is the electricity and it's an open circuit at this point, all right? So I'm gonna turn that key crank on, and with this relay, it's gonna, and the magnet, it's gonna cause this to come down and make contact with this, where now, this is gonna be energized, which is gonna be the pump. So the pump is gonna be on. Until I cut the car off, the magnet's not gonna be energized any longer. So what's gonna happen is the spring's gonna pop it open, and it's gonna turn it off. On, off, on, off. And that's, all that a relay does. We could go deeper into these relays. We can learn about single pole, single throw, single pole, double throw, double throw, single pole, double throw, double pole. But we want to try to make it nice and simple where you understand it because we could spend a lot of time on these things because there's a lot to know about these, but we just want to give you the basics so you can get your stuff up and running. The basic Bosch style relay has five pins, see, just like that. Okay, if you look real close, if you look real close on this relay, you'll see that they have numbers, and each number means something. This pin right here, pin 30, that's gonna be direct power from your battery to this pin right here. It should be fusible. I'm gonna put a fuse in there, all right? This one right here, 85, it's a negative. Right here, that's gonna be positive to the device. So the water pump has a positive and a negative. This one is gonna be the positive, all right? And right here, this wire right here, it's gonna be 86. That's gonna be your key on power. So when you turn the key on, it's gonna give this one power, which is gonna turn this one on. Work the pump. And that's it, four pins. Let's go. All right, once again, here we go. This one, that power, and I have a fuse sitting right there. All right, this one, right there, that's your negative. And this one right over here, right there, that is your key on power. And this one right here is the power to the pump. Yeah, you know, so this is just for testing purposes. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a little power to it and we're gonna see if the pump comes on. Now this is supercharger pump reservoir. This will hold whatever fluid I choose to use to cool my supercharger. So what I'm gonna do is if I have this thing hooked up right, I'm gonna turn the key, listen for the click, and you should see water start moving in there and that's the water being circulated throughout the system. So let's check it out. Scooty, wow, contact. 
See that water swishing round in there? That means the relay is set up correctly and we're good to go. Yeah, yeah. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. I hope this solves the mystery of the relay because when it comes down to it, all it is is four pins. And if you want to know more about these relays, there's a lot of information about relays and when to use them and why to use them online. I should mention there's a couple of ways you can hook a wire up to a relay. You could take your regular terminal and plug it into the relay pins, or what you can do is you can buy a bulkhead like this. Now the bulkhead plugs, if you look at it, it has the same shape as a relay. So basically what's gonna happen is it's gonna plug into the relay and you got these wires sticking out that you attach accordingly. That's what I'm gonna do for a Trailblazer SS to give it that really nice clean look. All right, and that's what you want. You want a nice clean look when you open up that hood and you see it and be like, oh, Terry hooked up a relay. Look at that clean look. So that's how I'm gonna, that's how I'm gonna do mine. At this time, I wanna say thank you guys for all the questions, all the comments, all the love. I'm feeling all the love. And if you have a question or comment, just come and yell at your boy, say, yo, Terry, I got a question or comment. And, you know, get in touch with me. You know I'm gonna answer it. You know I'm gonna answer it. But I'm looking at the clock on the wall. Or should I say ceiling? Time for me to head on off and continue to work on this trailblazer because, like I said, that journey's getting a little shorter. Yeah, it's getting a little shorter. And uh, hopefully, I can see you guys, because that's, that's the goal, see you guys at a car show. And you see me at a car show, come up and say, what's up, Terry Dog? That's right. All right, but <laughs> until we meet again, until we meet again, always, please, always, mm, be easy, and I'll catch you guys real soon. Take care.